Hey, what's up everyone? Uh, today we're going to be installing a Hyloft tire rack which holds four tires and I bought, you know, I bought this one just so I can just have the tires on the wall and to make more room, of course. So, I have like a lot of tires and I have more at my house. Uh, what it is is that, I don't know, just these tires that you see here are stocked up. They came with a car and picked up the E30. So, Pretty much, you know, they've been they just been stacked up here for nothing. I mean, we were gonna tend to just use them, scrap them, or use them for burnouts. They're all like for luck, so I don't know. We just have them. I mean, they're, they're still holding up air. We we're gonna use them as as uh, burnout tires. But anyways, they are keeping up room, and I don't have anything like or you know to dispose to transport because I don't have a truck yet. So for now I bought this tie rack so I can go ahead and just uh, mount it on the wall right here. So I already went out and bought, you know, a hammer drill for it. And of course I need to go get some, some different screws that will be able to, you know, screw in into, into the concrete. Because the screws that came with it are, um, came with the, uh, came for, for, for like studs. Um, anyways, this tire rack can hold, you know, on the studs or on the concrete. It's proven. So, anyways, um, so there's that. Looks pretty much good and simple. Gonna go ahead and mount it on. I'm gonna go and get myself set up, make some room over here, and get the ladder. All right. So this one's pretty neat. This one's called a high loft um, tire rack. Pretty much holds like 300 pounds, 32 to 48 inches. Another cool thing about this one is that um, this folds up so it can close up when you don't have anything, you know, holding on, on it like tires or wheels. So, so if you don't have anything on it, you can just like, if you can just like fold it up and it has a lock where you'll be able to, you know, hold it up while, so it doesn't fall down. It just so it creates more room too if you don't have anything on top. So this tie rack pretty much, pretty much plain and simple. So I would suggest, you know, get on, go to your log hardware store, get some concrete anchors. There's a ton of them, ton of options. I usually would stick to getting like the most basic kind. There was ones where like, um, you can insert after you drill the hole through the wall, through the concrete. And then once you add the anchor, that anchor is like already set in. You're not able to take it out whenever you want, if you want to move spaces, if you want to move different parts of the wall. So, um, so I didn't want to go with that one. I just went ahead with the most standard one. It's pretty much these. These are just from, these are just Tapcon. Got them at Home Depot, but um, these are three eight by, by three inch. And these work great for like brick wall, block, or solid concrete. So we go ahead and put this thing together um, and then go ahead and just set, um, drill the holes on the wall.
tire rack is all set, mounted, tight on, leveled, even. Um, it's pretty good. I love it, you know. No issues whatsoever. This is still holding on. This is on tight. Now I did now I did say I was gonna show you guys on how it works for when folding. It's pretty simple. Um, I'm not really gonna be you I'm not really gonna be folding this tire rack, but if anything, it's pretty much goes like this. And the lock on the side right here, as you can see. These are just like hooks, pretty easy. And same thing on the other side. I'll just close this one just to make it work even better. There we go. Honestly, that's what it looks like. So, if you don't have any tires at the moment, you know, you don't want to keep up room, want to hit, you want to keep some space, you can definitely fold this up if you, if it actually, you know, brings really good convenience for you, if it's benefit for you, then send it. Um, yeah, I actually love it. There are many ways to get a tire rack. You can either buy this one, or if you wanna just go out and buy your materials and make your own one, which you can if you like. Um, I only did this purpose because since we have so much, since we have so much projects going on, um, really don't wanna take the time out, you know, get grabbing materials and make measurements and just weld or cut wood. You know, you can make your tire racks out of, out of two by fours or two by sixes um, or just steel pipe. It doesn't take up too much time. This only takes like at least 15 minutes to, to install it, maybe less. As long as you have all the right tools. If you don't have all the tools that you need, get them first and then buy and then mount it on, install it. Because, I don't know, if you can improvise using different tools, but you should really be you only need the basic tool. So I'll put in the sizes of both that you need. Actually, I'm not gonna do that. <laughs> Kidding. Uh, anyways, that's pretty much it. I'm gonna go ahead and put the tires on and see how it looks. I got more tires I can put on. I, was, I have the uh, the other two right here on the car. We still gotta drop the steering rack still, so we're waiting until we complete the rotisserie and finish up this whole project that we're doing right here. All right, so there you have it. Thank you guys for tuning in. Um, that's my first install I kind of did. I've, I've done so far in the shop. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Hope you guys. Hope it was like pretty understanding, easy work you know to watch this video definitely if you want to grab one yourself um, you can definitely hit the link in the description same spot same place I bought it from definitely grab one and yeah I don't think you'll regret it honestly but tire rack to tire rack it works out it works out great if you're one of those you know that don't know how to build a tire rack yourselves you know uh, if you're not a DIY person Definitely just buy one. Buy one of these guys. They're already made. You just gotta put them together and you just gotta mount it on, to, mount it on the wall. So, thanks you guys for tuning in. Uh, stay tuned for another video soon coming up. Let me just give you guys a good view. Oh, it looks pretty sick. All right, you guys. You guys have a good night. Stay tuned. Catch you guys in the next video. Peace.